is going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are playing more of Valiant Heart, The Great War. My name is Jorna, that's J-O-A-R-N-A. And we are in the middle of trench warfare fighting. Wait for the machine gun to reload. Let me, uh, what am I doing? Whoa, oh, shit! That was a mistake. <laughs> uh, okay. Come on. Uh, oh, that, <laughs> that did not work out too well. All right, let's try this again. Um, so I did want to say a couple of things. Um, the big thing being that um, I'm actually going to be changing up some of the... Um, basically, basically, some of the, the way that the channel operates a little bit. Um, namely, the episode length. Um, from what I've been finding out... I usually try to aim for about 15 minutes, but from what I'm being told is that it's probably better to aim for like 10 to 12 minutes. 15 minutes is just too long, and I, I know that some people might be like, oh, it's just three minutes. Well, like, that three minutes can make a difference. Um, so from now on, we're going to be aiming for about a 12 minute episode. Two, three, two. Two, three, what does that mean? Oh, he needs the dynamite. He says three. Okay, maybe that's not it. Oh, he needs... One. Alright, let, let's try doing it this way. Two, three, two. Alright, so he's there, so he needs a two. Okay. Go the other way. Okay, he needs a three. That's a three, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. Oh, th this is the three. I was grabbing the four. And now he needs a two sticker. Oop. Uh. There we go. Okay. Grab, grab it. Grab the wheel. You're welcome. Time to hit that plunger, baby. Let's make it go boom, boom. Bang. What's this? Uh, explosives. Trench fortifications require the use of explosives to penetrate enemy lines. Long tunnels were dug under no man's land beneath enemy trenches inside where explosives were placed. English used cordite, a powerful explosive that could be detonated from a distance. Okay. Let's see. Uh, octong. No, no grenades. His doggo. Uh oh. Bang. A new friendship is born. Can, can we save the dog instead of talking? Get, get over there and cut that shit. Thank you. Can we cut him out of those shackles? Yeah. Snip, snip. Merci, mon ami. I love the way that his only weapon is just, just a pair of uh, snips. So I'm assuming now they're both gonna go save Carl. Counterattacks. Freddy and Emil hunted the elusive Baron and his regiment in Ypres. 
Oh, mustard gas. Oh, that's not good. On April 22, 1915, chlorine gas was used for the first time by the Germans. Uh, I have to get a gas mask. Yeah. First, April 22, 1915, at Ypres came the first gas attack in history. 5,730 cylinders of chlorine were opened by the Germans in favorable winds. Chlorine gas caused to burn eyes, skin, and lungs, even though, cl even through clothes and rubber boots. The effects were devastating. The only defense found by the Canadians was to cover up their noses with a urine-soaked handkerchief. Ugh. Chlorine gas is nasty stuff. Like... How do I... Oh, do I, uh, dog. I would imagine that the dog would not be able to survive that either. Diary unlocked. Uh, what does it say here? What a day. My wife, uh, my life was saved twice today. First by an American soldier and then by a dog. But on free at last, I saw Carl for the bombing. I hope he made it out alive. I'm going to try to find him. I, I think the diaries are just kind of updates in case you haven't been paying attention. Uh, okay. Something has to happen there to pull that down. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Uh, it's not good stuff. Oh, can I dig this? There we go. Okay, I was like, I knew I could dig. Uh, what do these do? Down, up. Oh, wait, hang on, I see it. Come on. Grab it. Down. Down again. And up. Actually, I say go down again real quick so I can see if I can hop over this. Oh, uh, what is that? Canadian identification tag. At the start of the war, Canadian identifi ta identification tags were formed by a large aluminum disc, which was because they were an emergency issue and had a unique shape. They were soon replaced by the standard British tags, as the, those are all British Empire forces. So it's, it's interesting, because thinking about this, um... I remember that my great uncle, I believe, died in World War I. Uh, he was a uh, Canadian serviceman. And uh, he died in France, if I remember correctly. He's buried over there. Battle of Ypres. Uh, Ypres was a key street in Belgium, especially for the British. It was a gateway to the north, and thus the Britain Canadian troops were deployed in the front line. Proved their endurance and dependability in combat to allies. 6,000 Canadian lives were lost. Yeah, so I don't know exactly where he died but yeah he definitely died in world war one how do i get out of here oh do i have to bring him down what uh what what does he all right, so let's pull him up. Let's go. The let's go down. Take him down, boy. Ooh, a lot of gas. We got we got gas everywhere. Okay, what are we doing here? There's something right here. That looks like a gas mask. Urine-soaked cloth. The only defense against a gas attack before masks were introduced was to carve the nose and mouth with a urine-soaked handkerchief. Urine reacts with chlorine directly in the handkerchief to form less noxious products, limiting the effects. It's not the most hygienic solution, but it was always better than a lung full of hydrochloric acid. It's very true. I think it has something to do with the way that the... Chlorine reacts with the ammonia in urine. 
Um, okay, so what are we doing here? A little confused. Ooh, okay. Uh, so it made one giant pressure cooker. What does this do? Hmm, okay, so... I need to do something to get up there to fix that. I can't get on that. Hmm. Well, how do I get up there? Dog, I need you down here, please. Can I, like, bat it from an angle? Uh, let me take a quick look over here. Can I push this? There we go. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get the crate put on top of it. Uh, so raise it up. We'll slide this under and drop it down. Now we can take this all the way back. And now, in theory, we might be able to. I can't climb that. Oh, it's just gonna bump it into place. Oops. Gonna be a lot of chlorine gas. Huzzah! We're off. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's pause the episode right here. When we come back, we'll make our way back to the surface. Do you think that the chlorine gas would have gotten me? My name is Ben Jorna, that's J-O-A-R-N-A. I will see you all next time.